discover exciting places to visit, explore your community, learn about new cultures, meet fascinating people, find the exotic. There are hidden treasures wherever you go. Travel, learn, take a day trip in your city, or hike in a rainforest. There's so much to see and share. What are you waiting for? Go on a journey. Welcome to On A Journey. I'm Paul Prado. Make sure to check out each video that goes with our podcast on our YouTube channel, Paul Prado Photography On A Journey. Welcome to On A Journey. I'm Paul Prado and here we are at Slab City off the 111, almost to Mexico, but not quite yet. We just met Whitney. She's a temporary caretaker and she is doing the handiwork that is left over to clean from the original artist and they are as you heard repainting touching up the uh, the artwork that was originated by this guy and it's just beautiful his message was Jesus, his love, and you can see his artwork abounds here, and everybody comes and appreciates it. They have donation box. It goes all the way up. He scrounged things uh, in the area as opposed to getting um, formal materials to construct this place, whatever he had in the area. And um, this is his creation. We'll get some more going. The Holy Bible, adding more to the religious feel of this sort of phantasmagorical structure. There's a cross. People are trekking up the little hill here, the slope. Uh, there's uh, rock slabs. And someone told me that this was a, a, a military base, a defunct military base, and now it's been created to this. It's amazing. Very colorful, beautiful. You can see all kinds of cool stuff. Let's go check out some more of Slab City. Leonard Knight, his message was God is love. And as you can see from this structure here, there's lots of religious messages, doves, angels, the word Bible, mother birds feeding their babies. We even have a trophy here from uh, 1998. Let's take a look at that. Leonard Knight, Senior King, Nylon Tomato and Sportsman Festival, 1998. From what I just learned, he passed away three years ago, so um, may he rest in peace. He now has a creation that has amassed a huge following and uh, people that appreciate art and all that it is in whichever form you create it. So let's walk around some more and see what we have here in Slab City. Salvation Mountain, Slab City. A colorful, beautiful testament to the love and dedication to Jesus and his community. Leonard Knight was a one-of-a-kind gentleman that brought happiness to thousands of people. People from around the world come here. Ron, the caretaker who paints this structure daily, welcomes guests from all over the world. Come on out to uh, Slab City. Salvation Mountain, bring a donation, some latex paint, and keep the color of this structure thriving so that thousands more can enjoy it. Salvation Mountain. Leonard Knight lived in this truck at one time and lived in that truck. He'd drive around to Nylon, was in festivals in it. He labored. He made this out of a labor of love for, for his faith, for Jesus, and for God. 
behind me is Salvation Mountain and it's made with many different materials and I just talked to Dave a resident here who's uh, lived here in the um, area this uh, community here for the last 20 years the mountain itself is made of hay bales tires ladders you can see that um, parts of it are being painted if you can see it um, they were out here yesterday here we are in March late March painting patching up some of the things that uh, need repair so let's keep looking around and um, see what we can discover Bill did a great job and behind me this is considered the tree of life it has got temper anger faith goodness joy and it's also on the mountain so let's see if we can uh, talk to Ron Welcome to On a Journey. I'm Paul Prado, and here we are at Slab City Salvation Mountain, and we are with Ron. I'm the caretaker here of Salvation Mountain. So, what is this? What is what do our listeners and our viewers well, see? This here is Leonard Knight's tribute to his love of God, and his love of just love. He built this place just so people could see that God is love without you know like jamming it down your throat, and just so people could see it and have a beautiful happy colorful place you know you're gonna want to come and you know what they came he built this in 1984 worked on it for 28 years it kept going you know he passed away three years ago but you know there's like people like myself and Whitney here who you know and, and Dave that work on this we live here we you know we love it and keep it going the visitors that come here inspire us to do more and more just like Leonard what is this behind us what is this made of the materials that are being used well it's made of uh, adobe clay hay bales, tires, layers and layers of paint. If you look right up here, okay. yeah, you can talk. see this, these hay bales right there. This actually is the skeleton of one of these waterfalls, like the grand ones up in the front. This is going to get covered with layers and layers and layers of clay, and then probably 20, 30 layers of paint, and then you add your white and blue lines on it, and it turns into a waterfall. And Whitney here is a volunteer? Yep, we all are. And we have volunteers coming from everywhere. The likes of Oregon, and where else? Um, actually, where she is painting, the white on the top part of that was painted by some Germans who came out from Germany, came to visit, start talking, came back the next day, start helping me paint. They painted the white on the top of this waterfall and on that one. You know, we get people from everywhere. That and come. how is this complex maintained? By donat is that, donations. Is there like a society? No, it's uh, well. There is a uh, board of directors with nine members that Leonard selected. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's his friends and family, people who are intricate to loving this place. And, you know, they just keep it running, you know, the same way he wanted it run. And you're like the, the main uh, yeah, caretaker, I mean, you and Dave? Or... Yep, yep. Well I've, well, I've been here for, like, Dave and Whitney are doing, like, a three-month stay. Uh -huh. And I've been here for and over And the year other now. fellow is? That's Bill. He's Bill. on the board of directors. And Bill has been here for quite some time. Bill's been here for quite Decades. some time. He's been here. He knew Leonard. He was friends with Leonard out here. And... You know, he put some time in working on it with him, and you know, so. And you were sharing me, sharing with me earlier. So what what is this over here? This is Lucky, one of one of the Salvation Mountain cats. And we are going into where in Salvation this is, Mountain here? This is called the museum, as it's stated on the wall. Okay, tell me about the museum. The museum is a giant structure. This is all built out of bales and bales and bales of hay, all stacked up, painted up. He built these trees here to help be the support for, for the uh, you know for the walls. Let's say this tree right here. This tree right here is ten pickup tires, stacked up, bolted together. So it's like one big giant stack. You can knock it, knock it over if you want. Dig a hole about half the distance, you know, the height of the of the tire stack. Put it in there. Put the clay around the outside. Take giant tree branches and telephone poles, put them inside of the branch, of the tires, chain and bolt those together, fill it with clay, let the clay cure. Curing is the, the thing. Don't let it dry out, don't leave it all mushy. But when it's nice and cured, then you can take and surround the tires, because remember this was shaped like this. Right. Surround it all with nice clay, shape it into a tree, let it cure once again, then seal it with paint after paint after paint. And layers and layers let it dry real nice and then you can start going sideways to add you know the wall and hold it all up 
And how long would this? Oh gosh, I, I could months, months, to, months, months, because it would take a good amount of time to dry each one of these phases, filling it all in. It would take. And then where do they months. find the tires Just and the donated by I, people? Then would take his trucks and go drive the junkyards and find tires and branches and poles and use. So board. all this here is branches, tires. And a whole assortment of other materials. Yep, windows. You, windows, window frames. Because I see doors over there, car doors. Amazing. And then these, these are all these branches you and a crew of volunteers made. No, Leonard made all of this. We oh, Leonard made, made all we this. We made nothing. All we do is preserve his So work. tell me about Leonard. Well, Leonard came out here. Well, Leonard... Uh, was well, just this dude, mm -hmm. a regular guy like the rest mm -hmm. of us. He uh, ended up going to the Korean War as a mechanic, but he was only there for like the end of the war. So okay. my guess is he was there. If you're there at the end of the war, all you're doing is fixing the trucks, okay. all the blowing up stuff. So he comes back home. He don't know what to do with himself. Right. Bums around for a while trying to figure it out, giving like guitar lessons, fixing cars, things like that. He's a guitarist know. like you. Yep. Well, he different style. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a heavy metal guitarist. He was, uh, he was an acoustic, okay. you know, playing those type of tunes you know, right. that you would expect. You know, oh, this Joe Kitty, another one of the cats. Um, so, you know, didn't know what to do with himself. Bummed around for a while. His sister was always, "Hey, Jesus, Jesus," and uh -huh. Leonard was always, "Nah, I got other things. I got uh -huh. other things." Eventually, he figured that out for himself. Uh -huh. He started, you know, that Jesus was the thing. Jesus was it. He okay. started saying the sinner prayer over and over and over. Uh -huh. That was it. His life evolved. Then he started doing different things. He, I see a picture that he made of this old truck. Uh -huh. Like these trucks all decorated, but nothing like that. It was right. way out east right. that he made this truck. And he would send postcards of this truck out mm -hmm. so people could see that God is love, see his message. It was all uh -huh. decorated, really neat and cool. But then he uh, decided after that, he was like, I'm going to make a hot air balloon with my praises to God. Uh -huh. But it wasn't going to be a flyaway balloon. It was going to be a giant billboard, 100 foot high. Uh -huh. So he's working on this thing for years. Obviously, you're going to have code issues with trying right. to play with a balloon. Right. He built his own hot air balloon inflator out of these tanks and things. I'll show you that. That's uh -huh. at the end of this structure. Okay. This structure is actually a hot air balloon on its side inflating, if you look at it from the outside. This? This is Syria. It was all going to be domed. But so he's working on the balloon. He comes to Slap City. Uh -huh. Because one, his sister lived out in San Diego, so it was out this way. Mm -hmm. Two, no codes. Right. The truck died on this spot. So he's working on the balloon, working on the balloon constantly for a couple of years. That didn't work out. Uh -huh. Dry rotted, eye lucky. It, uh, this is the ultimate cat house. There are <laughs> seven members of Lucky's family that live here. There's like five generations of the cats. Uh -huh. They've been here in Leonard's will is to take care of the cats. So, and not only do I take care of them, I love them. They're my buddies, especially that one. Well, they take care of everything, and they keep people company. They keep the snakes out of here. I've never seen a rattlesnake in here. Uh -huh. they, you know, they just keep the mice down. It's good to have them. And it's neat, because people come through, and they see the cats. And well, the I see them petting them out there. They love them. So yeah. That cat sits out there, the Joe Kitty, on that bench all the time. Right. So, anyway, back to Leonard. So, he's working on the balloon. One, it's pretty hard to make your own balloon. Right. Two, it's a desert. It is drying it out. Right. So, he... It dry rotted, it. he'd inflate it, fix holes, let it back out, go to fix the holes. There's new holes. Oh, I didn't see those. Scott forgot this one. Oh, doing it over, finally gave up. He's like, right. I can't. Right. So he was going to leave like a balloon, cement balloon on the face of the mountain where, you know, all right. the mountain is right now. Right. That turned into Salvation Mountain, built all out of concrete. He's gigantic, different, ver completely different version of what you see today. Oh. He runs out of the so, concrete. Okay. Yeah, this is made out of clay. Okay. This one, the original one, was made of concrete. Okay. Well, let's, can we go look at that? Yeah. Made of concrete. After the three and a half years of work, well, he started running out of the cement. So he built, there's an alcove all the way to the left. He built that out of clay. Uh-huh. As he's working on it all, three and a half years into it, he's going to fix a crack uh -huh. on the face of it, and bada boom, bada bing, the whole thing just collapsed. Oh, my God. Catastrophic failure for it. This is what it used to look like. Wow. And these pictures here. After the three and a half years. So this first picture. This is the original one. Okay. This is the original, and then this is how it looks today. This part is, is the oldest part of Salvation Mountain right now, because this is the part that he built out of clay whilst that was in concrete. All right. 
but all that collapsed and no one got hurt. The so this is what we see today, this third picture here yeah. with the heart? Yeah. Yep, that's what we see today. And that is concrete and clay nope, or that just? Is, well, that is all clay. All of that, here, here's another picture. This shows, so these pictures are not as easy to see, but these are, it collapsed. Oh my goodness, those are really, really old pictures. Yeah, this is the, this is it right here. Here's that alcove that I was talking about that stayed. But this all, boom. Now all of this, uh, chunks and chunks of this, are actually the big part of this. It's just the rubble. He covered this all up. There's a big bump in the heart. You know, that heart where, in the front of it where the heart right. is. And that right there is actually the debris from this. I have some chunks of this. And what is this room that we're in right now? This is a, well, this is a Hogan. Leonard built this to live in here. He was, but he could not find out how to make it cooler. He tried different things. He put air vents on the top. So is this made of room. adobe? This is made of adobe and, hay. Eight, and 80 bales of hay. 80 bales of hay. All stacked up. Every bale that's put in here is either spiked to the ground mm -hmm. or spiked to the bale next to it. For and these spikes work. that he got, are they donated? Don and every, everybody's every, donated every here. Donated I see you have two it. donation boxes out front. Mm -hmm. And well, then... Well, we, we have one. The one? Yeah. And then you have the, 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 the plaque that was just installed for people to see who Leonard was yep. and what he was all about. Year. That was awesome. And, last year. and then all these things that are up here, you have blue roses, red roses, See, now these, the Bible. This is the bluebird of happiness. The bluebird, I saw that a lot. There's a bluebird, a facsimile of a bluebird of happiness. These, no, these little things here, <clears throat> these actually were souvenirs that Leonard would give to his visitors. So that you have souvenirs, actual, looks like buttons. This is actually like the bottom of a, like a jar. The bottom of a jar, and he would... The, break the glass the, off, put the, a picture in it, uh -huh. take clay, uh -huh. whatever he had, put it in there, make a little stand for it, decorate it with a cock gun, and make all these little flowers and paint it up. So yeah. you have little pictures of the mountain, Salvation Mountain. These are what he would give the, like, the children when they'd come to visit, little flowers like this. So this is a ceramic flower, like a flower top with a carpeted bottom. This looks like carpet. Yep. And uh, industrial strength. Huh? Right there. You take like four thumbprints on uh -huh. do, 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 like that. So you have Leonard's thumbprints here forever. We have Leonard's for fist here forever too. His like, fist? Yep. His fist <laughs> like, well, these, all the flowers. So we have flowers? These flowers like this. You have heart, I mean hearts? You punch these flowers. Wow. All, all the big giant flowers that you see. Uh -huh. Punch them. You put a ball of adobe on there. And they, there's a yellow sun. Does that symbolize anything? Uh, or? Not that I know of. Okay. And then that is Leonard. And there's a picture on top of this Hogan. And that's a picture of Leonard there in his little vest. And is that a truck? And I understand he lived in that truck? Uh, that's well, the, That one right there is the original truck. It's the original truck that this says is the one he came here. it's he covered in the big letters, red letters, Bible. There's scripture. There's repent at the top. And he really took his sister's advice he did, yes, he as did. far as... I'm sure she was proud of him. <clears throat> that was her claim to fame. Leonard would get all these trophies from when he would go. Like, dude, there was a Nylon parade, the local city parade. Uh -huh. and he would bring his trucks and stuff in the parade. and So he has a trophy that's... In, that's just in in the wall here. The senior king of the parade, he would be. 1998. We also have, like, best truck, best car. Last year, we went in. We didn't do it this year, but last year we went in. We took a car, decorated up with Salvation Mountain pictures. Uh -huh. It didn't go over so well. Next year, I talked to our board, and I believe we might put one of Leonard's cars on a flatbed and drive that through. All right. Wouldn't that be cool if Leonard could get another trophy? Yeah. From back in, you know, for not even being here. Not even being just here. for being in memory of him. He will always be here, though. So these blue blue birds are blue birds of happiness? Yep, blue birds of happiness. And then we have the this, what is the outside of this structure? This is the balloon? Yep, this is the hot air balloon. If you look, when you go out there, that right there is the actual hot air balloon inflator. Okay. That Leonard made to blow up the balloon. That trailer? Yep, that trailer right there. He came out with that. This is the basket. So there's that a the trailer that on. says Jesus, and it's got like metal boxes, wood siding, and I guess, what is that? Furnace? Is that a furnace? Yeah, that's furnace. It, that's it, it looks, it looks pretty charred. It's pretty charred. <laughs> so, that, so that was supposed to inflate the balloon, the balloon but now this menace. mountain, the side of this mountain, is the, the, the balloon sideways. Gotcha. While Leonard was wow, here, this is incredible. This was Leonard's home. So, so here, 
we have Leonard's home. We get a peek inside as we try to finagle this camera in here. Wow, so this is where he lived? Yep, this is his bedroom right in here. In his little abode. The back part was his living room. He'd sit out there chilling, playing his guitar. So Leonard Knight lived in this small structure, no air conditioning. It's enough for a single camper bed. There's shoes in there, a motorcycle helmet, Bible Jesus, the way. It's, it's sort of a raised, like an A-frame kind of roof on the top of a, on the flatbed of a, the flatbed of a truck. It's got the bluebirds of life. Happiness. And bluebirds of happiness. There's a whole flock of them here on this tree. And then he's painted pink roses. There's more bluebirds. There's a yellow rose or a yellow flower. So when he's sleeping, he's got nature above him and nature outside. So this truck has been kept in memory of him. This is truly a piece of artwork. Now, all the raised lettering that you see throughout Salvation Mountain here, this was all done with a caulking gun. To me, this is the most unique part of Salvation Mountain. As amazing as all of this is, uh -huh. who else used, now I'm sure, you know, now I'm spitting this out for everybody, but who else used a caulk gun? For their art like this, nobody. I Not that no one that I know, nah, of. I know other than for plumbing and. And it's amazing. I mean, look at the detail. So he, you can tell this is all Leonard's work. So if you look at the grill, he's got flowers and uh, leaves, and he did this all himself over 28 years of living here. This Jesus is cock gun, right? Jesus is cock gun. Yeah, God is love, Jesus. Jesus at the end. I mean, what are you going to do about that? And then the top, repent now, say Jesus. Can't read the rest because it's been What's there. The center it's a been there quite a while. So how about this truck over here? This truck. Here, we have two trucks here on the property. This was the original truck that he came here with. This was his home truck. This was the one he came out with that died on the property. There's a little apartment inside this one, but you know, he didn't really live in this one. If you put the camera up here, you can peek into that apartment. So tell me about this truck. You said that this is the truck that just died. kabam. Died right here. And really, like most of the people camp out there. So uh -huh. it dying here was for a reason. Right, right. Because you would, he would have camped out there with everybody else. So... Tell me about some of the things here, if you know about them. The, there's like a, a fence on here on the side with more blue birds of... They're everywhere. Blue birds of happiness. Blue birds of happiness. Now, the fence, I don't know. This is just a right. decoration. A lot of the things, I don't know why he did it. Right. But it's pretty darn cool. This truck here, the unique... So he used the cock gun over in the mirrors. Everything. Now, this truck, the cool thing, the unique cool part about this truck is the artwork is underneath this truck also. Underneath, underneath. So let's take a look here. Oh my goodness. That's wild, huh? He's got it everywhere. He's got it on the uh, on the grill or the uh, woodwork, on the metal work. The man did not miss a thing. It's on the mud flap everywhere. If you are, when you come to visit Salvation Mountain and you want to be one of the people that want to take one of the unique pictures that others don't post all over Instagram and uh -huh. stuff, this truck right here would be a good place to find a spot. Stay tuned next week for part two of Slab City Salvation Mountain. We learned about Leonard Knight. We're going to learn more about Leonard Knight from Ron, the caretaker. It's off the 111. It's a beautiful place to visit and see the brilliant colors. Slab City. Yes.